Imagine you are a newly joined software engineer. Perhaps a front-end developer by trade. And you've been asked to fix a bug in the backend codebase. And what are some challenges you can face? But probably the backend is written in a language you're unfamiliar with. Or maybe it's a language you know. But the bigger question is, where do you even start? Where do you look for the issue without getting lost in the complexity of the code? Or let's imagine you've been tasked to create an API from scratch. In this situation, how do you form the mental map of the code base, stick to the standards and ensure you're not breaking anything? One scenario could be you are a backend engineer in TypeScript or Golang and you're suddenly asked to jump into a different language, let's say Rust or Python. Now, how do you get up to speed quickly without wasting hours looking through docs of different libraries, let's say FastAPI or uh, Pedantic or for Rust, it's it could be Axiom or any other library. It could be an ORM like SQL Alchemy or Diesel. So the question is, how do you apply your existing knowledge in a new environment without reinventing the wheel? Now this is where learning backend from first principles becomes invaluable. The ability to break down complex systems into their most basic and universal components gives you a massive edge. Like one, seeing the big picture, right? When you enter an existing code base, instead of being overwhelmed by its structure or the complexity of its engineering, you can mentally separate out the different parts of the system and work on them in an isolated way. You'll be able to identify the core logic, the routing layers, the database connections and the over-engineered pieces. And by filtering out these noises, you can start making changes or fixing bugs with confidence. And this is something you might have noticed in senior engineers or CTOs or CEOs. They can just look at any code or any particular code base and they'll quickly get a fair idea of what's going on or where the bug could be because a human brain is very good at picking up patterns. Senior engineers or CTOs, they subconsciously pick up these patterns. So they don't have to actually use this deliberately. But my question is why wait for years of experience you can deliberately practice from day one and get good at this in let's say six months or one year. Now the second thing is faster onboarding. When you understand the first principle behind backend engineering, like how HTTP works, how databases interact with APIs or how requests flow through the middleware, you can dive into any language or framework and find your way around it. You no longer need to spend hours going over library specific docs once you have learned the core concepts behind authentication or routing or middleware and database interaction. The syntax is secondary. You will be able to cut through the noise focusing on the logic instead of the syntax. This allows you to develop a deep sense of familiarity with the code base much faster than if you are focused solely on syntax or language specific features. Now the third thing is 10x faster in new projects. When you start a new project from scratch, having backend knowledge grounded in first principles helps you move with incredible speed and precision. You'll be able to create MVPs with production quality code far faster because you'll be working from a deep understanding of the system's needs, not just following boilerplate tutorials. You'll know how to structure your routes, set up database connections and implement critical functionalities like caching or error handling or logging without constantly referencing documentations. And the fourth is, syntax fatigue learning a new language can be overwhelming enough but if you're unsure of what concepts to learn next after grasping the syntax or if you don't know how to apply that syntax to solve actual problems uh, back-end engineering problems can lead to frustration or even burnout first principles reduce this syntax fatigue because once you understand the fundamental building blocks switching between languages is no longer a daunting task you know the problems you are solving and now it's just about applying the right syntax and libraries so for example you work as a node.js developer and you want to transition into a rust backend engineer right so how do you do it You'll obviously look for a complete end-to-end -end project of how to create a backend in Rust uh, at least four and five hours. And it has to also maintain all the production quality standards. Now, but the problem with that is Rust is a fairly new language and the amount of resources that we have for Node.js, the amount of project-based resources that we don't have for Rust. So 
how do you get good at it right and you constantly worry about it i am not finding any projects i am not finding any good resources you are good at basic syntax right how to handle different types of data structures in rust and write basic programs but how do you cross that threshold and actually build an end to end production quality project so this is where the principles come in so imagine you understand the different layers of the backend for example you start from routing and you go to middleware and uh, there is database interactions there is logging there is error handling and there is async code everything right you understand all the different components clearly as concepts and in nodejs so the, what is the next step you understand basic syntax for rust right so you start a rust project with whatever project layout that is recommended by the community and you target each component separately you know how a production quality code looks like for routing you know how it looks like for validation and how you know how it looks like for data variation interactions and repository pattern and handlers and authentication authorization you know all the good patterns now you just have to convert your rust based syntax into that pattern let's say you want to tackle validation so you go look up how to do validations in rust you most probably will find a library or some kind of standard library pattern of implementing validations now you know the syntax and you already know what are the best practices and patterns and you now you mix them up now you have a module of validation in rust which is production quality and now you keep repeating this pattern for every single module let's say for authentication and for all your rest api logic and in no time in 2 3 days you will have a fully fledged production quality code base in rust now the next thing is choosing the right tool for the right job and this is something i see engineers face a lot of problems with every day right because we are stuck with our labels we think we are a node js backend developer or we are a a ruby backend developer when we face a requirement that we have to build this module which has to have very high concurrency demands right or a very low latency demands so we are stuck with whatever language that we usually work with and the confidence to reach out for the best tool we cannot get hold of that by understanding the core problems backend engineering solves data persistence or request handling security scaling you will also gain the ability to choose the right tool for the right job you won't be limited by your framework or your language or your library you will know exactly which tool to use which language to use and which framework to use you will understand when it makes sense to use something like redis for caching or postgres for relational data or mongodb for unstructured data or let's say kafka for real time event streaming independent of the tech stack you are currently working with and the last thing is more employable and this is what most of us want right in today's rapidly changing tech landscape being able to apply your backend knowledge across languages and frameworks makes you incredibly versatile and thus more employable employers want engineers who can think critically independently who can join any team and begin contributing value quickly by mastering backend principles you become that adaptable engineer who is not confined by a specific language or stack but instead has the ability to solve problems in any environment now the good news is that you don't need to wait for years of experience to develop these skills you can start deliberately practicing today by focusing on the core concepts that remain the same across every backend system like routing database or authentication you can build your own internal compass for navigating new territories the goal is not just to solve problems when they arise but to do so with confidence and efficiency and with time you will develop a natural instinct for approaching any backend code base or project no matter how unfamiliar it may seem at first now learning backend from first principles elevates you from a framework specific developer to a true software engineer one who is not limited by a particular stack or tool set but understands the core problems backend engineering solves this freedom allows you to explore new languages frameworks and architectures with ease and positions you as a valuable asset in any engineering team so whether you are a front end developer looking to expand your skill set or a back end engineer wanting to transition into a new language learning back end from first principles will supercharge your growth and empower you to build your 
own robust scalable and maintainable system in any environment so what are these principles anyway and when i say principles i don't mean a list of rules by first principles i mean some foundational blocks or foundational components around which the rest of the code base revolves at all times no matter how small or how big it is a generic map of the backend engineering territory which helps you find the way and we will start exploring the map from the very next video